Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the WT Coaches Show. I'm your host, Kelton Waynes, and I'm here with Buffalo football head coach, Mike Nesbitt. Now, coach, you just finished up your second scrimmage of the preseason. Give us your thoughts on the scrimmage. You know, really, it was special teams-wise. We got the work we needed to get. You know, we needed a bunch of live reps at that. That's something we've been missing a little bit on. So that was good for us right now. I was real pleased with the defense on some of the third down stops inside the red zone and goal line. I thought they did a great job down there and they ended up with three turnovers on the day. So that's, that was some positive. I was still a little worried about the way we're getting lined up at times on offense and defense. And, but for the most part, it was a decent day. Not bad. A lot of our threes and fours today got a lot of playing time. So our red shirt and our red shirt freshman, our true freshman got to play a lot today also. And coach, a week ago, whenever we saw you last, you had a scrimmage then. And what did you change this week in practice from that scrimmage to this one? Well, really, you know, we don't change much. You know, it's it's our deal around here is don't get bored. We're going to do the same thing every day, you know. So we really didn't change a lot. The big thing for us was just tempo of play, making sure we assignment-wise we're doing a good job and getting lined up correctly on both sides of the ball. And then special teams. You know, we're trying to set that depth chart now for special teams where we know, you know, who we have and what we're going to be doing with those guys. And that's the big thing now because – our roster size isn't much different than an NFL team. You know, once we get to conference, we can only travel 60. You know, that's taking three kickers off the board. So, I mean, it's, it's a small group of guys. Now, Coach, uh, next week you have your first game, a week from today. And uh, give us your thoughts about how you change your approach in practice now that you're going into the regular season. Well, the, the nicest thing about that is we're getting to prep for somebody else. You know, we're not working on ourselves. We're not hitting each other. You know, we'll trade scouts. and. We'll start working on the opponent, which will always increase a little bit of intensity and focus on the game because they'll start seeing a game plan being built by the staff and the coordinators. So that'll be something neat for them. Now, uh, your first game against Western State on September 7th. Tell us about Western. What have, what have you seen about Western uh, in Colorado? The, the big thing about those guys is, you know, one, they play in a really good league, you know, with Colorado State Pueblo and Mines and those guys. So it's a tough division. It's going to be a solid division to play. They're going to be a multiple front defense. Um, offensively, we know they've got some movement at the quarterback position a little bit. And so that's still a little bit of a gray area. We're going to have to do some research on that and see who they're really going to be. But the first game is always us. You know, it doesn't matter who we play or where we're at or what level you're playing at. Don't beat yourself. Don't have any, you know, injuries that cause problems for your team during practice this week and don't have too many penalties or turnovers. Line up and play good sound football the first week of the season. Don't beat yourself is the key. Now coach, Gunnison, Colorado, where Western State is, is not on the plains of Colorado. It's high up in the mountains. How do you train your players to go from where we are in elevation to where Western is in elevation? Well, really, I hope it's our practice tempo has done that already. You know, the way we practice and how we played, I, I hope we've already done that. I think that's the key. You know, we've been doing that over the last, you know, June and July and then into camp. You know, I'm hoping that's that's where it's at. You know, it's not a surprise where we're going to be playing at. They've all known as players and coaches. So I think we've done a good job of getting them ready for the altitude. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of the Coaches Show. Tune in next week for more Buff Sports action. For Coach Nesbitt and the WT Sports Network, I'm Kelton Wings.